The Kansas City Chiefs just left us all speechless. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video, and if you want more Kansas City Chiefs news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Kansas City Chiefs preparing for major changes after their Super Bowl win. Each year, the Super Bowl represents a natural ending point to the NFL season, one for which every team in the league strives. But it could spell the end of an era for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2024. Regardless of what happens on Monday when they play the San Francisco 49ers for their third title in four trips spread across five years, there is a palpable sense of change on the doorstep in Kansas City. The franchise have important players from their run headed into free agency. The word retirement follows Andy Reid and Travis Kelsey wherever they go, and while Patrick Mahomes and others are on long-term deals, many of his closest teammates could very well be gone in the next year or two. Listen, every team is going to be a little bit different. That's just the nature of the NFL, head coach Reid said in the lead-up to the game. The two biggest decisions staring at the Chiefs involve what to do with defensive stars Chris Jones and Legarius Sneed. Jones, the all-pro defensive tackle, has been a part of each of their Super Bowl runs, and the Chiefs would love to keep him around the next few years. But they have tried in vain to sign him to a long-term contract the past two off-seasons, and they were so far apart heading into this season that Jones held out through week one before finally agreeing to a one-year deal. Kansas City could conceivably franchise tag Jones, but the blow that move would deliver to the salary cap would be crippling. They would probably would have the cash available for Jones if they didn't also want to sign Sneed to a long-term deal. With the former fourth-round pick having developed into one of the NFL's best and most underrated cornerbacks, Sneed should demand a princely sum in free agency. And while Jones may have more accolades on his resume, he will be 30 in July while Sneed only turned 27 last month, putting him far closer to his prime than the pass rush specialist. Sometimes I look at our situation and I'm like, I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we usually work through things systematically and have a list of the priorities, Chiefs General Manager Brett Veach said last week. Certainly Chris and LJ are at the top of the list. The list is long though. They will need to decide what to do at left tackle, where Donovan Smith will become a free agent. Players such as linebacker Willie Gay Jr. and defensive tackles Derek Nadi and Tershawn Wharton will also hit the market. Even their punter Tommy Townsend will need to work out a deal to stick around. Then there is next year when we have a lot of players coming due, Veach said. Indeed, whatever the Chiefs do to massage their roster must be done while looking through the lens of next offseason. Middle linebacker Nick Bolton, center Creed Humphrey, and right guard Trey Smith will all be finishing their rookie contracts, while safety Justin Reed and pass rusher Charles Omenihu will become free agents. It's easy to say that is the natural cycle of the NFL, but over two years, that is a lot that the Chiefs could potentially lose. All you can do is enjoy the moment, Mahomes said. All of that change on the horizon comes without even delving into the possibility of retirement for two of the franchise's most important figures. The 65-year-old Reed has spent all week fighting the notion he could hang up the whistle with another Super Bowl ring, insisting to anyone that will listen that he isn't going anywhere, a notion that was reiterated by Chairman Clark Hunt. I do know he is really engaged and enjoying it, and I have no sense that he is going to be ready to retire in the near future, he said. In terms of how long it goes, I don't know. I certainly hope it's a long time. Mahomes likewise doesn't expect the coach he affectionately calls Big Red to go anywhere. I'm highly doubtful because, I mean, he enjoys it every single day, he said. He loves it, and he comes to work with that energy every single day. So it'd be very surprising to me, and I haven't got any sense of that. Kelsey also clapped back at talk of retirement, even though the four-time All-Pro tight end appeared to lose a step this season. He will turn 35 midway through next season, and with so many side endeavors Hollywood has come calling, to say nothing of his relationship with pop star Taylor Swift, it is entirely possible that he could walk away. I love this game. I love coming into work. I've got a lot of desire to be accountable for the ones next to me, the legendary tight end said. I think everybody has distractions or things in their lives that can take away their focus, and you have to compartmentalize. It's no different. 
It might be on a national media scale so it looks harder, but in reality when I step through those doors or step on that field. The second story is Travis Kelsey brings home the hardware and holds up end of the bargain with Taylor Swift. Travis Kelsey brought home the hardware he promised to girlfriend Taylor Swift. The Kansas City tight end finished with nine receptions for 93 yards, including a crucial catch in overtime to help the Chiefs win their second straight Super Bowl with a 25-22 victory over the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday night. One play after Kelsey's reception put the Chiefs on the three-yard line. Patrick Mahomes found McColl Hardman alone in the end zone for the winning TD, in the process helping Kelsey keep his promise while sending Swift and everyone in her suite into a celebratory frenzy. Never a doubt in my mind, Kelsey said. We've got the best quarterback in the league, we've got the best offensive line in the league, and we've got the most determination out of any team in the NFL, and you saw all that tonight. I guess at this point I take it for granted, but I know we're in every single game I've ever played in, no matter what the score is or no matter how much time is left, that guy's got magic in his right arm. One night after Swift earned her fourth career Grammy for Album of the Year last week, Kelsey said he told her he'd have to hold up my end of the bargain and bring home some hardware too. Swift flew halfway around the world to watch her boyfriend, who also said during the Super Bowl week's opening night on Monday, I want this one more than I've ever wanted a Super Bowl before in my life. After the game, Kelsey said, it's on to the next feat. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and everything that just happened, he said. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I've been able to go through three times now. It gets sweeter and sweeter every time. You know the goal has always been to get three, but we couldn't get here without getting that two and having that target on our back all year. Kelsey's vibe at the end of the game was an emphatic change after he bumped Andy Reid on the sideline during the second quarter, knocking the 65-year-old Kansas City coach a few steps back after teammate Isaiah Pacheco fumbled inside the red zone. Kelsey ran over to Reid and screamed at him after the fumble. You guys saw that? Kelsey said. I'm going to keep it between us unless my mic'd up tells the world. I was just telling him how much I loved him. Reid said Kelsey just wanted to be on the field. There's nobody I get better than I get him, Reed said. He's a competitive kid. He loves to play. He makes me feel young. But my balance is terrible. This was the second sideline incident involving Kelsey and Reed this season. During a game against the Raiders on Christmas Day, an angry Kelsey spiked his helmet on the sideline, and when a staff member tried to hand it back to the tight end so that he could take the field, Reed grabbed the helmet and refused to give it back. Sorry about this Kansas City Chiefs nation. And apologies for another Swift reference, but in the world we live in now, get ready, because the haters gonna hate, 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 hate. You've put up with a lot of vitriol this past week as pundits pilloried the defending Super Bowl champions and heir apparent to the Tom Brady Bill Belichick New England Patriots. And after winning again Sunday, more is on the way. The good news for Chiefs fans was that while the haters were busy loafing the Chiefs and their consummate winning quarterback Patrick Mahomes, all Chiefs fans had to do to feel better was recall another line from the same song, Players gonna play, 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 play. And that's what happened at Super Bowl LV in Las Vegas as the Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers 25-22 in overtime, winning the third of the last five Super Bowls. The players played, 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 played. Mahomes threw and ran for 399 total yards and led the Chiefs on a 13-play, 75-yard overtime drive that had ended with a touchdown pass completed with three seconds on the clock. And he did so with the kind of cool, clinical focus we've come to expect of him when the game is on the line. Mahomes' leadership earned him his third MVP trophy, but made me ask afterwards, why were Kansas City and Mahomes cast as villains in the week leading up to the championship? The third story is Chiefs head coach Andy Reid confirms he will be returning in 2024. Andy Reid will indeed be going for a three-peat in 2024. The Chiefs head coach confirmed on Monday that he will be returning next season as Kansas City looks to become the first team in NFL history to win three Lombardi trophies in a row. Honestly, I haven't even thought about it, but I get asked it, Reid said when asked about the thought of retiring on top a day after his Chiefs defeated the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl LV. I mean, I'm still kind of in awe of the game and what went on there, so I really haven't thought why or what or anything else, but people keep asking me and I keep saying, why didn't Belichick and Pete retire? Ask those old guys those questions.
But I'm the old guy now, so I guess I'm gonna be asked that. And I really haven't gone there. I haven't really thought about it. Retirement speculation surrounded the 65-year-old coach in the build-up towards Super Bowl LV, and Reed kept those questions alive in the immediate aftermath of the Chiefs' overtime triumph over the 49ers, saying post-game, I haven't had time to think about it. However, Chiefs owner CEO Clark Hunt said on Sunday night that Reed's return was the expectation all along. Reed entered rare territory with Sunday's victory, joining Bill Belichick, Chuck Knoll, Joe Gibbs, and Bill Walsh as coaches to win three or more Super Bowl rings. Winning three in a row would be quite the highlight on his Hall of Fame resume, but it's a scenario Reed hasn't really thought much about. I don't think a lot about that, but I think that would be pretty neat. A neat thing to do, Reed said. You don't really go there when you're in this thing.